Welcome, fellow Earthlings, to the Digital Farmer Academy, where we're planting the seeds of wisdom and harvesting the fruits of knowledge. Get ready to dig deep into the fertile soil of agriculture with your host, the one and only master of the green thumb, here to make farming cool again. Let's get our hands dirty and dive into this podcast. Soil Preparation and Cultivation Techniques Soil preparation and cultivation techniques involve various processes to ensure optimal conditions for plant growth. It begins with assessing the soil composition and structure. Farmers may conduct soil tests to determine nutrient levels, pH, and texture. Based on these results, they decide on suitable crops and plant cultivation practices. The primary step is plowing, where the soil is turned over to break up compacted layers and berry residues. This helps improve aeration and water infiltration. Subsequently, farmers may use harrows and cultivators to further refine the soil's texture. After plowing, leveling the field is crucial to ensure uniform water distribution. This is often followed by the application of organic or inorganic fertilizers to supplement essential nutrients. Farmers may employ cover crops to prevent soil erosion and improve fertility during fallow periods. Once the soil is prepared, planting takes place using various methods like direct seeding or transplanting seedlings. Adequate spacing between plants is essential for optimal growth. Irrigation systems, such as drip or sprinkler systems, are employed to provide sufficient water. Weeding is another critical aspect, as it prevents unwanted plants from competing with crops for resources. Mulching can be used to suppress weeds and retain soil moisture. Pest control measures, including the use of natural predators or pesticides, are implemented to protect crops. Throughout the cultivation process, monitoring soil conditions and plant health is essential. Adjustments may be made based on weather conditions, ensuring that the crops receive the necessary care for successful growth. Finally, harvesting marks the end of the cultivation cycle and residue management prepares the soil for the next planting season. Crop Selection and Planning Crop selection and planning in agriculture involve a comprehensive process to ensure optimal yield and sustainability. It begins with analyzing various factors to make informed decisions on the types of crops to cultivate and their arrangement within a farm. Key aspects to consider include Understanding climate. Assess the local climate conditions, including temperature, rainfall, and humidity, to determine suitable crops that thrive in specific environments. Soil analysis. Conduct soil tests to evaluate its composition, nutrient levels, and pH. Different crops have specific soil requirements, and this analysis helps in selecting crops that are compatible with the soil conditions. Market demand. Research and understand the market demand for different crops. Consider factors such as consumer preferences, market trends, and potential profitability. Crop rotation. Plan for a rotation system to maintain soil fertility and prevent the buildup of pests and diseases. Rotate crops with different nutrient needs to balance soil health. Land utilization. Efficiently allocate land for various crops based on their growth patterns, space requirements, and compatibility with neighboring crops. Seasonal planning. Consider the seasons and their impact on crop growth. Plan the planting and harvesting times to maximize yields and minimize the risk of adverse weather conditions. Diversification. Balance the variety of crops cultivated to reduce vulnerability to market fluctuations, pests, and diseases. Diversification also contributes to a more resilient and sustainable farming system. Sustainability practices. Integrate sustainable agricultural practices, such as cover cropping, agroforestry, and organic farming, to enhance the overall ecological balance and reduce environmental impact. Technology integration. Explore the use of technology for precision agriculture, utilizing tools like drones, sensors, and data analytics for efficient monitoring and management of crops. Government policies. Be aware of and comply with government policies and regulations related to crop cultivation, including subsidies, 
incentives, and restrictions. Community collaboration. Engage with the local community and agricultural organizations to share knowledge, resources, and support for mutual benefits. By considering these factors, farmers can develop a comprehensive crop selection and planning strategy that aligns with their specific circumstances, leading to a more sustainable and productive agricultural system. Irrigation systems and water management. Irrigation systems and water management in agriculture involve various techniques to ensure efficient water usage for crop growth. One fundamental method is surface irrigation, where water is directly applied to the soil surface. This can include furrow, basin, and flood irrigation, each with its benefits and drawbacks. Another approach is subsurface irrigation, where water is delivered below the soil surface, reducing evaporation and water loss. Drip irrigation is a precise method that provides water directly to the plant roots, minimizing wastage. Sprinkler systems distribute water over crops in the form of droplets, simulating natural rainfall. This method is suitable for various crops and can be adapted to different terrains. Precision irrigation, often aided by technology, ensures the optimal delivery of water based on specific crop needs, soil conditions, and weather patterns. Water management involves assessing soil moisture levels, monitoring weather forecasts, and implementing strategies like rainwater harvesting and water recycling. Additionally, the adoption of smart sensors and automation can enhance water management efficiency, allowing farmers to make informed decisions. Sustainable water practices, such as mulching and cover cropping, contribute to moisture retention in the soil. Farmers must also consider the importance of water quality, as contaminants can affect both crops and the environment. Overall, a comprehensive understanding of irrigation systems and water management is crucial for sustainable and productive agriculture, ensuring the judicious use of water resources to meet the demands of a growing population and changing climate. Pest Control and Crop Protection Pest control and crop protection are crucial aspects of agriculture aimed at minimizing the damage caused by various pests and diseases to ensure optimal crop yields. This field involves a comprehensive approach to identify, manage, and prevent pest infestations. Farmers employ various strategies to protect their crops, considering both chemical and non-chemical methods. Integrated Pest Management IPM, is a holistic approach that combines cultural, biological, and chemical control methods. Cultural practices include crop rotation, intercropping, and adjusting planting dates to disrupt the life cycle of pests. Biological control involves introducing natural predators or using beneficial microorganisms to control pest populations. Chemical control, often used as a last resort, includes the application of pesticides. Farmers must carefully choose and apply pesticides based on the specific pest and crop, following recommended dosage and safety guidelines. It's essential to consider the potential environmental impact and the development of pesticide resistance. Crop protection also involves monitoring and early detection of pests and diseases. Regular field inspections help identify signs of infestation, allowing timely intervention. Farmers may use traps, pheromones, or remote sensing technologies for monitoring purposes. Furthermore, the selection of pest-resistant crop varieties plays a crucial role in crop protection. Developing and cultivating genetically modified crops with built-in resistance to pests contribute to sustainable pest control practices. Continuous research and education on evolving pest patterns, resistance mechanisms, and new control methods are essential for staying ahead of emerging challenges in pest control and crop protection. Fertilization and Nutrient Management Fertilization and nutrient management in agriculture involve the careful planning and application of essential elements to enhance soil fertility and promote optimal plant growth. This process ensures that crops receive the necessary nutrients for their development. Nutrient management encompasses various aspects, including Understanding soil composition Assessing the soil's nutrient levels, P, 
pH, and composition is crucial. Soil tests help determine the existing nutrient levels and guide the formulation of a suitable fertilization plan. Essential nutrients. Identifying key nutrients essential for plant growth, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, and micronutrients like iron, zinc, and copper. Fertilizer types. Selecting appropriate fertilizers based on the specific nutrient requirements of the crops and soil conditions. Fertilizers can be organic or inorganic, and their composition varies. Application methods. Implementing proper techniques to apply fertilizers, such as broadcasting, banding, foliar application, or fertigation. Applying fertilizers through irrigation systems. Timing of application. Timing plays a crucial role in nutrient management. Applying fertilizers at the right growth stages ensures efficient nutrient absorption by plants. Nutrient mobility. Understanding the mobility of different nutrients in the soil, as some elements may leach more easily than others. This knowledge helps prevent nutrient runoff and environmental contamination. Nutrient interactions. Recognizing the complex interactions between various nutrients. Balancing nutrient levels is essential to avoid deficiencies or toxicities that can hinder plant growth. Organic matter management. Incorporating organic matter into the soil, such as compost or manure, to enhance soil structure, water retention, and nutrient availability. Crop rotation. Implementing crop rotation practices to break pest and disease cycles and improve nutrient cycling in the soil. Environmental impact. Considering the environmental impact of fertilizer use and adopting sustainable practices to minimize negative effects on water quality and ecosystems. Monitoring and adjustments. Regularly monitoring soil nutrient levels, plant health, and crop performance. Adjusting the nutrient management plan as needed based on observations and feedback from soil testing. Overall, a comprehensive approach to fertilization and nutrient management is vital for sustainable agriculture, ensuring both optimal crop yields and environmental stewardship. Crop Rotation and Diversification Crop rotation and diversification are crucial agricultural practices aimed at improving soil health, increasing crop yields, and mitigating pest and disease pressures. In crop rotation, farmers systematically change the types of crops planted in specific fields over time. This practice helps break pest and disease cycles, enhances nutrient availability, and minimizes soil erosion. Diversification involves growing a variety of crops in a given area, promoting biodiversity and reducing the risk associated with relying on a single crop. Crop rotation strategies often include alternating between different plant families or categorizing crops based on their nutritional needs. For example, legumes may be planted to fix nitrogen in the soil, followed by a cereal crop that benefits from the increased nitrogen levels. This not only replenishes soil nutrients, but also helps manage pests that may be specific to certain crops. Diversification extends beyond just crop types. It encompasses growing crops with varying maturation times, ensuring a continuous harvest throughout the year. This approach helps maximize land use and contributes to a more stable and sustainable agricultural system. Additionally, crop diversification plays a role in risk management by reducing the impact of market fluctuations. Farmers can adapt to changing market demands and price variations by cultivating a diverse range of crops. Both crop rotation and diversification contribute to sustainable agriculture by promoting soil health, minimizing environmental impact, and fostering resilience in the face of changing conditions. Implementing these practices requires careful planning, monitoring, and adaptation to local soil and climate conditions. Organic Farming Practices Organic farming practices involve cultivating crops and raising livestock using methods that emphasize sustainability, soil health, and natural processes. In organic farming, synthetic chemicals, genetically modified organisms, and artificial additives are avoided. Instead, 
a holistic approach is taken to promote ecological balance and environmental harmony. One key aspect of organic farming is soil management. Farmers focus on enhancing soil fertility through the use of organic matter such as compost, cover crops, and animal manure. Crop rotation and polyculture techniques are employed to maintain soil health and prevent the buildup of pests and diseases. In pest and disease control, organic farmers often utilize natural predators, crop rotation, and companion planting to minimize the need for chemical interventions. Additionally, the use of biopesticides and microbial solutions is encouraged to manage pests in an eco-friendly manner. Livestock and organic farming are raised in conditions that prioritize their well-being. This includes access to outdoor spaces, organic feed, and the avoidance of growth hormones and antibiotics. Integrated farming systems may be employed, where animals contribute to nutrient recycling and pest control on the farm. Weed management in organic farming relies on practices such as mulching, hand weeding, and the use of cover crops to suppress weed growth. Genetic diversity is also valued to enhance resilience and adaptability in crops, reducing the reliance on external inputs. Certification by relevant organic standards is essential for farmers practicing organic agriculture. These standards ensure adherence to specific guidelines, verifying that the produce is genuinely organic. Overall, organic farming represents a commitment to sustainable and environmentally friendly agricultural practices. Greenhouse farming Greenhouse farming involves the cultivation of crops within a controlled environment, typically a structure with transparent walls and roof that allows sunlight to penetrate while providing shelter from external elements. In this agricultural method, various factors are carefully managed to optimize plant growth. These factors include temperature, humidity, light intensity, and ventilation. The structure of the greenhouse is designed to capture and retain solar energy efficiently. Materials like polycarbonate or glass are commonly used for walls and roofs to allow sunlight to enter while providing insulation. Greenhouses may have additional features such as shade cloth to regulate light intensity and temperature. Temperature control is critical in greenhouse farming, and it is often achieved through heating and cooling systems. These systems may include heaters, fans, and ventilation systems to maintain an optimal temperature range for plant growth. Automatic climate control systems are also employed to adjust conditions based on real-time data. Humidity control is essential to prevent issues like fungal diseases and mold growth. Greenhouses may incorporate humidifiers and dehumidifiers to maintain the right moisture levels. Irrigation systems, such as drip irrigation or misting systems, are employed to provide plants with adequate water. Lighting is a crucial aspect of greenhouse farming, especially in regions with limited sunlight. Supplemental lighting, such as high-pressure sodium lamps or light-emitting diodes, LEDs, may be used to ensure plants receive sufficient light for photosynthesis. Nutrient management is facilitated through hydroponic or soilless growing systems in some greenhouse setups. This allows precise control over the nutrient composition delivered to plants, promoting efficient absorption and growth. Greenhouse farming enables year-round cultivation, extending growing seasons, and mitigating the impact of adverse weather conditions. It also provides a controlled environment that reduces the risk of pests and diseases, allowing for more sustainable and efficient crop production. Precision Agriculture and Technology Precision agriculture involves the use of advanced technology and data-driven techniques to optimize various aspects of farming. This approach aims to enhance efficiency, reduce resource usage, and improve overall productivity. In the context of precision agriculture and technology, several key components and practices play a crucial role. Precision farming systems, implementing automated and GPS-guided systems to manage field-level variations accurately. This includes the use of GPS-guided tractors and equipment for precise planting, harvesting, and other field operations. Sensor technology, utilizing various sensors such as soil sensors, weather stations, and drones to collect real-time data on soil conditions, weather patterns, and crop health. 
These sensors help farmers make informed decisions regarding irrigation, fertilization, and pest control. Data Analytics Analyzing large sets of data collected from sensors and other sources to gain insights into crop performance, resource utilization, and potential areas for improvement. Data analytics enable farmers to make data-driven decisions for better outcomes. Variable Rate Technology, VRT applying inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides, and water at variable rates based on specific conditions within a field. VRT allows for a customized approach, optimizing resource usage and improving crop yield. Farm Management Software Implementing software solutions that provide comprehensive farm management capabilities. These tools help farmers plan, monitor, and analyze various aspects of their operations, contributing to more efficient decision-making. Automated Machinery Integrating smart and automated machinery into the farming process, including autonomous tractors, drones, and robotic systems for tasks like weeding and harvesting. Automation enhances precision and reduces labor requirements. Internet of Things IoT connecting devices and equipment on the farm through IoT for seamless communication and data sharing. This connectivity improves the overall efficiency of farm operations and enables real-time monitoring. Satellite imagery, leveraging satellite technology to obtain high-resolution images of fields, allowing farmers to assess crop health, detect diseases, and monitor overall field conditions. Remote sensing, using remote sensing technologies such as satellite or aerial imagery to gather information about large areas of land. This data assists in monitoring crop health, identifying anomalies, and assessing overall field performance. Integration with agricultural practices, integrating precision agriculture technologies with traditional farming practices to create a holistic and effective approach to crop management. Agricultural machinery and equipment. Agricultural machinery and equipment play a crucial role in modern farming practices, enhancing efficiency and productivity across various agricultural operations. These tools are designed to perform specific tasks, reducing manual labor and optimizing resources. Here is an exhaustive overview of agricultural machinery and equipment. Tractors, versatile machines used for plowing, planting, and other field operations. They come in various sizes and configurations, including utility tractors, row crop tractors, and specialty tractors. Plows, implements attached to tractors for turning and breaking up soil before planting. Harvesters, machinery designed for harvesting crops such as grains, fruits, and vegetables. Types include combine harvesters, cotton pickers, and sugar cane harvesters. Planters and seeders, equipment used for precise and efficient planting of seeds in the field. Sprayers, devices for applying pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers to crops to protect them from pests and enhance growth. Cultivators, implements for weed control and soil aeration between rows of crops. Balers, machinery for compressing and bundling crops such as hay or straw into manageable and transportable units. Mowers, equipment used for cutting and conditioning forage crops or grass. Irrigation systems, automated systems for delivering water to crops, including drip irrigation, sprinkler systems, and flood irrigation. Tractor implements, various attachments and tools that can be mounted on tractors, including loaders, backhoes, and plow attachments. Harrows, implements for breaking up clods of soil, incorporating fertilizers, and smoothing the soil surface. Grain handling equipment, machinery for handling and transporting harvested grains, including grain augers, conveyors, and grain carts. Livestock equipment, Equipment designed for feeding, handling, and managing livestock, such as feeding systems, cattle chutes, and poultry equipment. Threshers, machines for separating grains from their stalks or husks during the harvesting process. 
silage equipment, machinery used in the in-siling process, including silage harvesters and silage wrappers. Tillage equipment, implements for preparing the soil for planting, including disc harrows, rotivators, and chisel plows. Combine headers, attachments for combines that are specific to the type of crop being harvested, such as corn headers or grain headers. GPS and precision farming equipment, technology-driven tools for optimizing field-level management with information technology and automated machinery. These various types of agricultural machinery and equipment contribute to the overall advancement and efficiency of modern farming practices, enabling farmers to meet the demands of growing populations and changing agricultural landscapes. Livestock Farming and Management Livestock farming involves the breeding, care, and management of domesticated animals for various purposes. This encompasses a wide range of activities to ensure the well-being, productivity, and sustainability of livestock. Livestock management includes practices related to both small-scale and large-scale operations. Key aspects of livestock farming and management include Livestock selection – choosing suitable breeds based on the intended purpose, such as meat, milk, wool, or other products. Housing and shelter – providing appropriate housing structures to protect animals from harsh weather conditions and ensure their comfort. Nutrition and feeding, developing balanced and nutritious diets to meet the specific nutritional requirements of different types of livestock. Breeding and reproduction, implementing effective breeding programs to improve genetic traits, enhance productivity, and manage reproductive cycles. Healthcare and veterinary services, regular monitoring of animal health, vaccinations, disease prevention, and access to veterinary care to ensure overall well-being. Disease prevention and control, implementing measures to prevent the spread of diseases within the livestock population, including quarantine and biosecurity practices. Waste management, proper disposal and utilization of animal waste to minimize environmental impact and ensure hygiene. Record keeping, maintaining detailed records of each animal, including health history, breeding information, and production data. Livestock handling and behavior, developing skills to handle animals safely and understanding their behavior for efficient management. Productivity enhancement, implementing strategies to improve the productivity of livestock through genetic improvement, better nutrition, and efficient management practices. Market and value chain. Understanding market dynamics, pricing, and value chain processes to make informed decisions regarding the sale of livestock and related products. Sustainable practices. Incorporating sustainable and environmentally friendly practices to ensure the long-term viability of livestock farming. Regulatory compliance. Adhering to local, regional, and national regulations governing livestock farming including animal welfare standards and environmental regulations. Livestock farming and management require a holistic approach to address various aspects, ensuring the welfare of the animals, environmental sustainability, and economic viability for the farmers. Dairy farming. Dairy farming involves the management and operation of a farm specifically dedicated to the production of milk and other dairy products. It encompasses various aspects, including Dairy breeds Different breeds of dairy cattle, such as Holstein, Jersey, and Guernsey, are raised for milk production. Each breed has its characteristics in terms of milk yield, fat content, and adaptability to different climates. Housing and infrastructure Proper housing is essential to provide a comfortable and healthy environment for dairy cattle. This includes barns or sheds for shelter, milking parlors, and facilities for feed storage. Feeding and Nutrition Dairy cows require a balanced diet to ensure optimal milk production. Feed includes a combination of forages, grains, and supplements. Nutrition plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and reproductive capabilities of the cows. 
Milking process. Milking is a critical aspect of dairy farming. Modern dairy farms often use mechanized milking machines for efficiency. The milking process needs to be hygienic to ensure the quality and safety of the milk. Reproduction and breeding. Managing the reproductive cycle of dairy cows is essential for a continuous milk supply. Artificial insemination and selective breeding are common practices to improve the genetic traits of the herd. Healthcare. Regular veterinary care is crucial to monitor the health of dairy cattle. Vaccinations, disease prevention, and timely treatment of illnesses contribute to the overall well-being of the herd. Milk handling and storage. After milking, proper handling and storage of milk are necessary to maintain its quality. Cooling and refrigeration help prevent bacterial growth and spoilage. Milk processing. Some dairy farms may have on-site processing facilities for making products like cheese, butter, or yogurt. This adds value to the milk produced and provides additional revenue streams. Regulatory compliance. Dairy farming is subject to various regulations regarding milk quality, animal welfare, and environmental impact. Compliance with these regulations is essential for the sustainability of the farm. Economic management. Managing the financial aspects of dairy farming, including budgeting, cost control, and marketing, is crucial for the profitability of the operation. Environmental impact. Sustainable and eco-friendly practices are becoming increasingly important in dairy farming. Proper waste management and environmental conservation contribute to the long-term viability of the farm. Poultry farming. Poultry farming involves the raising of domesticated birds for meat, eggs, and feathers. This agricultural practice encompasses various aspects to ensure successful poultry production. Here's an exhaustive overview. Poultry breeds. There are numerous poultry breeds, each with specific characteristics suited for meat, egg production, or dual purpose. Housing. Constructing suitable poultry houses is crucial, providing proper ventilation, lighting, temperature control, and adequate space for the birds. Brooding. Newly hatched chicks require a warm environment during the first few weeks. Brooding involves providing the necessary heat and care to ensure the chick's well-being. Feeding. A well-balanced diet is essential for poultry. Nutritional requirements vary for layers, broilers, and breeders. Feed should include proteins, vitamins, minerals, and energy sources. Health management. Regular health checks, vaccinations, and disease prevention measures are vital to maintaining a healthy flock. Prompt identification and treatment of illnesses are critical. Biosecurity measures. Implementing biosecurity measures helps prevent the introduction and spread of diseases within the poultry farm. This includes controlling visitor access, disinfection protocols, and quarantine procedures. Egg production. For layers, managing egg production involves optimizing lighting conditions, proper nutrition, and addressing factors influencing egg quality and quantity. Broiler production. Raising chickens for meat, broilers, requires efficient feeding, proper growth monitoring, and slaughter at the right age to ensure optimal meat quality. Waste management. Proper disposal of poultry waste is crucial for environmental sustainability. This may involve composting, manure utilization, or other eco-friendly methods. Economic aspects. Poultry farming involves financial considerations, including initial investments, operating costs, and potential returns. Financial planning and risk management are essential. Regulatory compliance. Adhering to local and national regulations regarding poultry farming, including zoning laws, animal welfare standards, and environmental regulations. Market and marketing. Understanding market trends, identifying target customers, and implementing effective marketing strategies are essential for successful poultry farming. Research and innovation. Staying updated on advancements in poultry science and technology can enhance productivity 
efficiency, and sustainability. Continuous education. Poultry farmers benefit from staying informed about the latest industry practices, attending workshops, and participating in educational programs. Aquaculture and fisheries. Aquaculture and fisheries involve the cultivation and harvesting of aquatic organisms for various purposes, including food production, recreation, and conservation. Aquaculture refers to the farming of fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants in controlled environments, while fisheries deal with the capture of wild fish and other aquatic organisms from natural bodies of water. In aquaculture, farmers create artificial environments such as ponds, tanks, or net pins to raise fish and shellfish. This practice allows for controlled breeding, feeding, and harvesting, contributing to the sustainable production of seafood. Key aspects of aquaculture include selecting appropriate species, managing water quality, disease prevention, and ensuring efficient feed utilization. Fisheries, on the other hand, involve the extraction of fish from oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes. This traditional practice has evolved with modern technology, utilizing advanced fishing vessels, equipment, and techniques. Sustainable fisheries management is crucial to prevent overfishing, depletion of marine resources, and environmental degradation. Conservation measures, such as fishing quotas, closed seasons, and marine protected areas, are implemented to maintain healthy fish populations and ecosystems. Both aquaculture and fisheries contribute significantly to global food security, economic livelihoods, and trade. Sustainable practices, research on improving breeding techniques, and the development of responsible fishing methods are essential to ensure the long-term viability of these sectors. Agroforestry and Silviculture Agroforestry is a land-use management system that combines the cultivation of trees and shrubs with agricultural crops or livestock. Silviculture, on the other hand, specifically focuses on the cultivation and management of forests. When we delve into the topic of agroforestry and silviculture, we explore the integration of trees and forestry practices within agricultural landscapes. Agroforestry involves the strategic placement of trees or shrubs in agricultural fields, providing various benefits such as improved soil fertility, enhanced water retention, and diversified income sources. There are different agroforestry systems, including alley cropping, windbreaks, and agro-silvopastoral systems, each tailored to specific environmental conditions and goals. Silviculture, as a component of forestry science, encompasses the cultivation of trees for timber, non-timber forest products, and ecosystem services. This involves tree planting, management of natural regeneration, and forest stand improvement to ensure sustainable timber production and ecological health. The integration of agroforestry and silviculture practices promotes biodiversity, mitigates climate change, and enhances overall ecosystem resilience. Farmers and foresters must consider factors such as tree species selection, spacing, and management practices to optimize the synergies between agriculture and forestry, ensuring a balanced and sustainable approach to land use. The careful planning and implementation of agroforestry and silviculture contribute to environmental conservation, economic stability for communities, and the creation of resilient and multifunctional landscapes that benefit both agriculture and forestry sectors. Sustainable Agriculture Practice Sustainable agriculture practices involve a comprehensive approach to farming that aims to meet current needs while ensuring the long-term health and viability of the environment, society, and economy. This approach encompasses various principles and techniques to promote ecological balance, resource conservation, and social responsibility. One key aspect of sustainable agriculture is soil health management. This involves practices such as crop rotation, cover cropping, and minimal tillage to enhance soil structure, fertility, and microbial diversity. Sustainable farmers also prioritize organic farming methods, avoiding synthetic pesticides and fertilizers to minimize environmental impact and promote healthier ecosystems. Water conservation is another critical component of sustainable agriculture. 
farmers adopt efficient irrigation systems, rainwater harvesting, and water recycling practices to minimize water usage and prevent pollution of water sources. Additionally, agroforestry and the strategic planting of trees help in watershed management and contribute to biodiversity conservation. Biodiversity is a fundamental consideration in sustainable agriculture. Farmers integrate diverse crops and incorporate natural habitats to support a variety of plant and animal species. This not only promotes ecological balance, but also helps in pest control without relying heavily on chemical interventions. Livestock management in sustainable agriculture emphasizes humane treatment, rotational grazing, and the use of organic feed. These practices contribute to animal welfare, reduce environmental impact, and enhance the nutritional quality of meat and dairy products. Economic sustainability involves fair trade practices, local market support, and the development of resilient farming communities. By fostering strong local economies, sustainable agriculture contributes to the overall well-being of communities and minimizes reliance on external resources. Furthermore, adopting innovative technologies, such as precision agriculture and agroecological approaches, allows farmers to optimize resource use and reduce waste. Sustainable agriculture practices also extend to waste management, encouraging recycling and composting to minimize environmental pollution. Agricultural Economics and Marketing Agricultural economics and marketing encompass the study of economic principles applied to agriculture and the various aspects of bringing agricultural products to the market. It involves understanding the economic factors that influence farming decisions, production costs, and the overall agricultural supply chain. In agricultural economics, researchers and professionals analyze the allocation of resources in farming, considering factors such as land, labor, and capital. They study how farmers make decisions regarding crop selection, input usage, and production methods based on economic incentives and constraints. Marketing in agriculture involves the strategies and processes used to bring agricultural products from the farm to consumers. This includes distribution, pricing, promotion, and selling of agricultural goods. Marketing efforts aim to create value for both producers and consumers within the agricultural supply chain. Agricultural economists also explore market structures, studying how competition, monopoly, and oligopoly impact agricultural markets. They analyze the role of government policies, subsidies, and trade agreements in shaping agricultural markets and influencing farmers' decisions. Furthermore, Agricultural marketing encompasses various channels such as local markets, supermarkets, export markets, and online platforms. It involves understanding consumer behavior, preferences, and trends to develop effective marketing strategies. Overall, the field of agricultural economics and marketing plays a crucial role in ensuring the efficiency and sustainability of agricultural practices while meeting the demands of consumers and global markets. Farm Business Planning Farm business planning involves comprehensive analysis and strategic decision-making to ensure the success and sustainability of a farming venture. The process encompasses various key aspects that collectively contribute to the effective management and profitability of the farm. To begin with, a thorough assessment of the current agricultural landscape and market trends is essential. This includes studying the demand for specific crops or livestock, pricing dynamics, and potential competitors. Understanding the local and global market conditions provides a foundation for making informed decisions. Financial planning is a critical component, involving the estimation of startup costs, operational expenses, and potential revenue streams. Budgeting for inputs, equipment, labor, and other overheads is crucial for determining the financial viability of the farm business. Additionally, farmers need to explore funding options, such as loans or grants, and establish a clear financial management system. Risk management is another vital consideration in farm business planning. Identifying potential risks, such as weather-related issues, pests, diseases, and market fluctuations, 
allows for the development of strategies to mitigate these challenges. Insurance and contingency plans play a key role in safeguarding the farm against unforeseen circumstances. Strategic crop or livestock selection is pivotal, taking into account factors like soil suitability, climate conditions, and market demand. Crop rotation and diversification strategies contribute to sustainable farming practices and reduce dependency on a single commodity. Farmers should also develop a marketing plan outlining how they will promote and sell their products. This involves branding, distribution channels, and potential partnerships with retailers or local markets. Building a strong brand presence and customer relationships can significantly impact the success of the farm business. Environmental sustainability and ethical considerations are increasingly important in modern agriculture. Incorporating eco-friendly practices and adhering to ethical standards contribute to the farm's reputation and may open doors to niche markets. Continuous monitoring and evaluation are crucial for adapting the farm business plan to changing circumstances. Regular assessments of financial performance, market conditions, and the overall effectiveness of implemented strategies allow for timely adjustments and improvements. Agritourism and Rural Development Agritourism and rural development involve the integration of tourism activities with agricultural practices to promote sustainable development in rural areas. This multifaceted approach encompasses various aspects that contribute to the economic, social, and environmental well-being of rural communities. At its core, agritourism seeks to attract visitors to agricultural regions, providing them with immersive experiences that showcase the farming lifestyle, traditions, and local culture. This can include activities such as farm tours, pick-your-own produce, agricultural festivals, and farm stays. The objective is to generate additional income for farmers, diversify the rural economy, and create employment opportunities. Rural development, in conjunction with agritourism, focuses on enhancing the overall quality of life in rural areas. This includes improving infrastructure, such as roads and utilities, and investing in education and healthcare facilities. Additionally, efforts may be directed towards preserving the natural environment, supporting sustainable agricultural practices, and fostering community engagement. Agritourism plays a pivotal role in showcasing the importance of agriculture in rural communities, educating visitors about farming practices, and promoting the consumption of locally produced goods. This, in turn, can lead to increased market demand for agricultural products, benefiting local farmers and agribusinesses. Furthermore, agritourism can foster cultural exchange between urban and rural populations, breaking down stereotypes and fostering a greater understanding of the challenges and opportunities in rural areas. This cultural exchange can lead to the development of partnerships and collaborations that further support rural development initiatives. Agricultural Policies and Regulations Agricultural policies and regulations encompass a broad spectrum of rules, guidelines, and frameworks set by governments to govern various aspects of the agricultural sector. These policies aim to ensure the sustainable development, efficiency, and fairness of agricultural practices. They cover areas such as land use, environmental conservation, crop production, livestock management, and economic aspects of farming. Key components include subsidy programs, trade policies, and support for rural communities. These policies often address issues like market access, pricing mechanisms, and risk management. Additionally, regulations focus on ensuring food safety, quality standards, and the ethical treatment of animals. Environmental considerations, such as sustainable farming practices and conservation of natural resources, are integral parts of these policies. Government agencies and agricultural departments play a crucial role in formulating and implementing these regulations to foster a balanced and responsible approach to agriculture. The regulatory landscape may vary from country to country, reflecting the unique challenges and priorities of each region. Policymakers continuously evaluate and update these regulations to adapt to changing circumstances, technological advancements, and societal needs. 
Compliance with these policies is essential for farmers to operate within legal boundaries and contribute to the overall well-being of the agricultural sector. Climate change and agriculture Climate change and its impact on agriculture encompass a wide range of factors that influence the entire agricultural system. Changes in temperature, precipitation patterns, extreme weather events, and shifts in growing seasons can significantly affect crop production, livestock management, and overall food security. One major concern is the alteration of traditional climate zones, leading to the need for farmers to adapt their crop choices and cultivation practices. Rising temperatures may result in heat stress for crops and livestock, affecting their growth and productivity. Changes in precipitation patterns can cause droughts or floods, disrupting normal farming operations and reducing yields. The increased frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, storms, and wildfires, pose significant threats to agricultural infrastructure and can lead to crop losses. Additionally, changes in pest and disease patterns may emerge as a consequence of altered climatic conditions, requiring farmers to adopt new strategies for pest control. Water scarcity is another critical issue associated with climate change. Changes in rainfall patterns and melting glaciers affect water availability for irrigation, which is crucial for many crops. Sustainable water management practices become essential in mitigating these challenges. Adapting agriculture to climate change involves implementing resilient farming practices, developing drought-tolerant and heat-resistant crop varieties, and improving water use efficiency. Precision agriculture technologies, such as sensors and data analytics, can assist in optimizing resource utilization. Furthermore, addressing climate change in agriculture requires global cooperation, policy interventions, and financial support for farmers to adopt sustainable practices. Education and awareness programs are crucial to help farmers understand the implications of climate change and encourage the adoption of resilient farming methods. Research and Innovations in Agriculture Research and innovations in agriculture involve a wide array of activities aimed at improving farming practices, increasing productivity, and addressing challenges faced by the agricultural sector. This field encompasses various disciplines, including agronomy, biotechnology, engineering, and environmental science. Researchers continuously explore innovative solutions to enhance sustainability, reduce environmental impact, and ensure food security. One significant area of research is the development of drought-resistant and disease-resistant crop varieties through genetic engineering and breeding programs. Scientists also focus on improving crop yield and quality by optimizing the use of fertilizers, nutrients, and water resources. Precision agriculture, which involves the use of technology such as drones and sensors for data-driven decision-making, is gaining prominence to maximize efficiency and minimize resource wastage. Innovations in agricultural machinery and automation contribute to increased efficiency in planting, harvesting, and overall farm management. Robotics and artificial intelligence play a crucial role in automating tasks like weeding and monitoring crop health. The integration of smart sensors enables real-time monitoring of soil conditions, weather patterns, and crop health, facilitating precise interventions. Biological control methods, such as the use of natural predators and biopesticides, are researched to reduce the reliance on chemical pesticides, promoting sustainable pest management practices. Additionally, advancements in organic farming techniques and regenerative agriculture are explored to promote soil health and biodiversity. Research extends to the study of climate-resilient crops and farming systems to adapt to changing climatic conditions. Water management research focuses on efficient irrigation techniques, water conservation, and the development of drought-tolerant crops. Furthermore, agricultural research involves socioeconomic aspects, including understanding the needs of farmers, improving market access, and ensuring fair trade practices. Collaborative efforts between researchers, Farmers and policymakers are crucial for translating innovations into practical solutions that benefit the entire agricultural value chain.
Food Safety and Quality Assurance Food safety and quality assurance in agriculture involve comprehensive measures to ensure the production, processing, and distribution of food meat high standards for safety and quality. This encompasses various aspects across the entire food supply chain. Starting at the farm level, practices focus on soil health, water quality, and the proper use of fertilizers and pesticides to prevent contamination. Farmers follow good agricultural practices, GAP, to minimize risks. This includes proper handling of animal products, use of safe irrigation water, and monitoring for potential hazards. During harvesting and post-harvest stages, stringent protocols are in place to prevent contamination. This involves proper handling, storage, and transportation of crops. Temperature control is crucial, especially for perishable items, to prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms. Food processing facilities adhere to good manufacturing practices, GMP, to maintain hygiene and prevent contamination. Regular inspections ensure compliance with safety standards. Quality assurance involves rigorous testing for factors like microbial contamination, pesticide residues, and chemical additives. Traceability is a key component, enabling the identification of the origin of a product throughout the supply chain. This is essential in case of a recall or to address quality issues promptly. Advanced technologies such as blockchain may be employed for enhanced traceability. Regulatory bodies set standards and conduct inspections to ensure food safety. Regular audits of processing facilities, distribution channels, and retail outlets are conducted. Noncompliance results in penalties, closure, or other corrective actions. Consumer education plays a crucial role. Public awareness campaigns inform individuals about proper food handling, storage, and cooking techniques. Labels provide information on nutritional content, allergens, and expiration dates, aiding consumers in making informed choices. Continuous research and development contribute to the improvement of safety measures. This includes the development of new technologies for food testing, preservation, and packaging. Overall, the integration of best practices, regulatory oversight, technological advancements, and public awareness collectively contribute to achieving comprehensive food safety and quality assurance in the agricultural sector. Agricultural Education and Extension Services Agricultural Education and Extension Services encompass a comprehensive approach to disseminating knowledge, skills, and information within the agricultural sector. This field involves educational programs, outreach initiatives, and advisory services aimed at enhancing the capabilities of farmers and promoting sustainable agricultural practices. In agricultural education, formal and informal learning opportunities are provided to individuals interested in farming or related fields. This includes academic courses, vocational training, and workshops that cover various aspects of agriculture such as crop management, animal husbandry, soil science, and agribusiness. Extension services play a crucial role in bridging the gap between research institutions and farmers. These services involve the transfer of up-to-date agricultural technologies, best practices, and research findings directly to farmers. Extension officers or educators often work closely with farmers in the field, conducting demonstrations, providing hands-on training, and offering guidance on implementing new and improved farming techniques. Moreover, agricultural extension services contribute to the development of rural communities by addressing socioeconomic issues, promoting community engagement, and fostering sustainable agricultural development. This involves creating awareness about environmental conservation, resource management, and the adoption of eco-friendly practices. Rural Infrastructure Development Rural infrastructure development involves enhancing and improving the basic physical and organizational structures and facilities in rural areas to promote economic growth, enhance living standards, and address the unique needs of rural communities. This comprehensive process encompasses various sectors to create a sustainable and well-connected rural environment. One crucial aspect of rural infrastructure development is transportation. 
This includes the construction and maintenance of roads, bridges, and transportation networks that facilitate the movement of goods and people within and beyond rural areas. Improved transportation infrastructure can lead to increased market access, better connectivity, and enhanced economic opportunities for rural residents. Access to reliable and clean water is another vital component. Rural infrastructure development involves the establishment of water supply systems, wells, and sanitation facilities to ensure that rural communities have access to safe drinking water and proper sanitation. This not only improves health outcomes, but also contributes to overall community well-being. Energy infrastructure is also a key consideration. Developing reliable and sustainable energy sources, such as electrification and renewable energy projects, can significantly impact the quality of life in rural areas. It supports various activities, from household needs to powering agricultural machinery, thereby fostering economic development. Education and healthcare facilities are essential elements of rural infrastructure. Building and upgrading schools and healthcare centers help provide access to education and medical services, contributing to the overall development of human capital in rural communities. Furthermore, communication infrastructure, including the establishment of internet connectivity and mobile networks, is crucial in the modern age. It facilitates information flow, supports e-commerce, and connects rural areas to broader markets and opportunities. In addition to these basic necessities, rural infrastructure development may also encompass the creation of marketplaces, storage facilities, and community centers. These structures contribute to economic growth, social cohesion, and the overall resilience of rural communities. To ensure the sustainability of rural infrastructure, community involvement, capacity building, and the use of environmentally friendly technologies are essential considerations. An integrated approach that addresses the diverse needs of rural areas is crucial for successful and lasting rural infrastructure development. Community-Based Agriculture Community-based agriculture involves a collaborative approach to farming that prioritizes community participation and shared responsibilities. In this model, Individuals come together to collectively manage agricultural activities for the benefit of the community. This approach fosters a sense of shared ownership, encourages sustainable practices, and promotes local resilience. Community-based agriculture encompasses various aspects. Community engagement. Active involvement of community members in decision-making, planning, and execution of agricultural activities. This ensures that the needs and preferences of the community are considered. Land use and allocation. Collaborative decisions on the use of land for agriculture, considering factors such as crop rotation, agroforestry, and sustainable land management practices. Allocation of plots may be based on equitable principles. Crop diversity. Promotion of diverse crops based on the preferences and nutritional needs of the community. This can enhance food security, resilience to pests and diseases, and overall agricultural sustainability. Shared resources. Utilization of shared resources such as water, tools, and equipment, minimizing individual costs and maximizing efficiency. This cooperative approach enables the community to overcome resource constraints. Education and skill development. Implementation of programs to educate community members about sustainable agricultural practices, technological advancements, and best farming methods. Skill development initiatives empower individuals to actively contribute to the agricultural process. Local markets and distribution. Establishment of local markets or community-supported agriculture, CSA, systems to distribute produce within the community. This reduces the reliance on external markets and supports local economies. Social cohesion. Fostering a sense of community and mutual support among members. Community-based agriculture contributes to social cohesion by strengthening interpersonal relationships and creating a shared sense of purpose. Environmental stewardship. Emphasis on environmentally friendly practices, including organic farming, conservation of biodiversity, and sustainable water management. 
This ensures the long-term health of the ecosystem and minimizes negative impacts on the environment. Regulatory considerations. Collaboration with local authorities to address regulatory aspects, obtain necessary permits, and ensure compliance with agricultural standards and regulations. By adopting a community-based agriculture approach, communities can create a resilient and sustainable agricultural system that not only meets their food needs but also strengthens social bonds and promotes environmental responsibility. Agroprocessing and Value Addition Agroprocessing refers to the conversion of raw agricultural products into consumable and marketable forms through various processing techniques. This involves adding value to the products, making them suitable for diverse uses. The process encompasses a wide range of activities, each contributing to the overall value addition in the agricultural supply chain. Initially, raw agricultural materials undergo cleaning, sorting, and grading to remove impurities and ensure quality. Subsequently, processing methods such as milling, grinding, and pressing are employed to transform these materials into intermediate products. These intermediates can include flour, oils, extracts, and other derivatives. Further down the line, secondary processing activities come into play. These include activities like baking, cooking, canning, and preserving. These processes aim to enhance the shelf life of products and make them more convenient for consumers. Additionally, the incorporation of various ingredients and flavors during these stages contributes to diversifying the range of available products. Packaging is a crucial aspect of agro-processing, as it ensures the protection and presentation of the final products. Proper packaging not only safeguards the product but also adds to its visual appeal, contributing to marketability. Labeling and branding are integrated into this stage, providing consumers with information about the product's origin, ingredients, and nutritional content. Quality control measures are implemented throughout the agro-processing stages to maintain consistency and meet regulatory standards. This involves rigorous testing for factors such as taste, texture, aroma, and nutritional value. Any deviations from quality parameters are addressed promptly to ensure the final product meets consumer expectations. Distribution and logistics form the concluding phase of agro-processing. Efficient transportation and storage are critical to preserving the quality of processed products during transit. Establishing reliable supply chains and distribution networks ensures that the products reach consumers in a timely manner. Land use planning and conservation. Land use planning and conservation involve careful consideration of how land is utilized to ensure sustainability and environmental protection. It encompasses a comprehensive analysis of the landscape, natural resources, and human activities. The process involves various steps to optimize land use while preserving its ecological balance. Initially, a detailed land survey is conducted to identify different land types, topography, and soil characteristics. This information is crucial for determining the suitability of the land for various purposes, such as agriculture, residential development, or conservation areas. Geographic Information Systems GIS, technology is often employed for mapping and analyzing spatial data. Zoning regulations are established to allocate specific areas for designated purposes. For instance, areas prone to erosion or flooding might be designated for conservation, while zones suitable for urban development are identified accordingly. These zoning regulations help prevent haphazard development and maintain a balance between human activities and the environment. Conservation measures include the establishment of protected areas, such as national parks, wildlife reserves, and green belts. These areas serve as habitats for diverse flora and fauna, contributing to biodiversity conservation. Additionally, buffer zones are designated to mitigate the impact of human activities on sensitive ecosystems. Land use planning also involves the consideration of sustainable practices to minimize the ecological footprint. This includes promoting eco-friendly construction methods, encouraging renewable energy sources, and implementing waste management strategies. 
The aim is to ensure that human development coexists harmoniously with the natural environment. Furthermore, community involvement is crucial in the land use planning process. Engaging local communities helps gather valuable insights, traditional knowledge, and ensures that the proposed plans align with the needs and aspirations of the people living in the area. Social Issues in Agriculture Social issues in agriculture encompass a broad spectrum of challenges that impact individuals and communities involved in farming. These issues are complex and multifaceted, influencing various aspects of society. Some key social issues in agriculture include Social inequality, disparities in access to resources, education, and opportunities contribute to social inequality within the agricultural sector. This can affect farmers' ability to thrive and succeed. Farm labor, the conditions and treatment of farm laborers, including issues related to fair wages, worker rights, and occupational safety, are significant social concerns in agriculture. Rural poverty, agriculture-dependent communities often face economic challenges, leading to high rates of poverty. This can result from factors such as market fluctuations, limited access to credit, and lack of diversified income sources. Land ownership and access. Unequal distribution of land and limited access to resources can hinder the growth and sustainability of small-scale farmers. Land tenure issues and disputes also contribute to social tensions. Gender inequality. Women play a crucial role in agriculture, yet they often face gender-based discrimination and limited access to resources. Promoting gender equity in farming communities is essential for sustainable development. Migration and displacement. Rural to urban migration and displacement due to factors like climate change or land use changes can disrupt agricultural communities, leading to social challenges. Health and well-being. Agricultural practices, including the use of pesticides and exposure to environmental hazards, can impact the health of farmers and nearby communities. Access to healthcare services is a critical social issue. Community dynamics. Social cohesion within farming communities can be affected by factors such as generational gaps, cultural diversity, and changing social norms. Maintaining a sense of community is crucial for resilience. Education and awareness. Limited access to education and information can hinder the adoption of modern agricultural practices and technology, impeding the overall progress of farming communities. Policy advocacy. Advocating for policies that address social issues in agriculture, including supporting small-scale farmers, promoting sustainable practices, and ensuring equitable distribution of resources is crucial for positive change. Addressing these social issues requires a comprehensive and collaborative approach involving farmers, policymakers, researchers, and community leaders to create lasting and impactful solutions. Future Trends in Agriculture The future of agriculture holds several transformative trends that will shape the industry. One key aspect is the integration of advanced technologies, such as precision farming, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. IoT. These technologies enable farmers to monitor and manage their crops more efficiently, leading to increased productivity. Additionally, sustainable farming practices are gaining prominence as concerns about environmental impact and resource conservation grow. This includes the adoption of organic farming, agroecology, and regenerative agriculture methods to promote soil health and biodiversity. The role of data analytics in agriculture is becoming crucial, allowing farmers to make data-driven decisions for optimizing yields, resource allocation, and risk management. Smart farming practices, powered by data analytics, contribute to more efficient resource utilization and improve crop management. Vertical farming and urban agriculture are emerging trends, especially in densely populated areas. These practices involve growing crops in controlled environments such as indoor vertical stacks, reducing the need for large areas of arable land and minimizing transportation costs. 
Biotechnology and genetic engineering continue to play a significant role in developing crops with enhanced resistance to pests and diseases, improved nutritional content, and greater adaptability to environmental conditions. Moreover, the global agricultural supply chain is evolving with a focus on transparency, traceability, and sustainability. Consumers are increasingly demanding ethically sourced and environmentally friendly products, prompting the industry to adopt practices that ensure responsible and sustainable production. And that's a wrap, my budding agronomists. Remember, when life gives you manure, plant flowers. Keep sowing those ideas, watering your dreams, and we'll see you next time on the Digital Farmer Academy where every harvest is a bumper crop of enlightenment. Stay green, stay lean, and keep growing.